welcome back friends to mlt world first of all sorry to for all of you that i am making video after a long time because my channel was hacked and it took time to get my channel back but i hope you all will support me like as you support before so this my video is related to about analyzer that is cobas e411 from the company hitachi roche and this analyzer is used as immune analyzer and hormones analyzer even tumor markers also can run on that analyzer so i will give you almost detailed introduction about this machine that uh, how this machine is working and what what reagent and what consumables need for this machine so we will start as you can see different portions are there some for tapes cuvette and this area is for keeping samples and that closed cover area is uh, in cover lid we will keep reagents later i will show you that how we will keep the reagents and this is the screen this screen is touch screen and uh, here we will keep the assay cups and assay tips and this blue bottle is for uh, waste first of all we will on the machine the power button is on the right side back of the machine this is the power button just we will pull up and it will on so first when we will on this button we will wait for the screen to be on full when screen will on that after that we will and it will show that uh, front switch button is off after that we will on this button this operation button so just we will wait first to screen become ready now you can see it's written front panel switch off so we will switch on this button and after that in clip, screen also we will click ok and then machine will ask for the uh, password and here we will write lab and lab i don't know if any other hospitals or any other places where this machine is used what is their username and password and now we will log on when we will log on the machine the screen will be like that this is the like main display screen and now you can see machine is in standby when we once we will uh, keep the reagents and everything consumables everything after that we will on except reagent what other reagents need that is a clean serve and this black cover is a you see clean cell reagent first position will be clean cell reagent and next position will be i think pro I will, first we will see then i will pronounce and that cap is white color yeah it's pro cell so at one time we can keep four uh, total bottle there is place two for clean cell and two for pro cell but first clean cell then pro cell then clean cell then pro cell as i told before that is waste bottle and this is wash buffer with the help of systemic solution we will prepare this here we will keep the assay tips and assay cups at one time can keep three boxes of assay tips and assay cups sorry three tray so this like that in box coming uh, assay cup and assay tips in sealed form so now we will keep one one uh, assay and tray and assay cup tray and assay trip tray in the empty space after that we will keep the reagents now our consumables and other related reagents are ready uh, here we will keep the samples like that we will open the cover and we can take out the rack and we will run the samples but before running samples we will keep the reagent this tube is used as stop tube the barcode when machine will read it will machine will detect that this is the last sample like that we will move the lid and it the cover will open 
this is the reagent area downside there is cooling system already and at one time we can keep 18 reagents in this machine some reagents are two reagents for uh, one test and mostly are single reagents like HBSAG and HCV single reagent but for HIV there are two reagents and now I will show you how to keep the reagents first you have to open the cover and you have to check any bubble any film or anything that we will clean and then no need to close full just we will close the cover like that and we will keep the reagent inside and then we will keep other reagents first we will open and we will check the any bubble or any film on the top of the bottle of uh, reagent and then just we will close not fully close like just keep the cover down and we will keep any place any place you can keep the reagents and when we will do reagent scan automatically with the help of barcode machine will scan the position of the reagents As I told before that this machine can run hormones also for immunology also for tumor markers also so a lot of tests can do on this machine. Like that. And then we will again keep the cover back and we will close the cover. And we will move the lid to the close side now we will first we will you can see maintenance button is red color because it's asking for system reset if uh, during machine on if you will open any cover or anything that alarm will come that time just you have to click system reset and machine will reset all the um, uh, like uh, it will detect the like it will do some all type of initialization we will say and after reset then we will do the reagent scan in reagent scan it will not only do the reagent scan but it will check the um, clean cell bottles pro cell bottle and there is cup tray everything it will check so now we'll and as you can see reagent scan we cannot see because cover is closed but outside we can see now you see one this is moving and checking for cups and tray and other side is checking for uh, uh, pro cell and clean cell level for pro cell and clean cell it depends on your number of tests if you have less tests you can keep one one bottle also but if you have more tests then it's better to keep uh, two two bottles for each initialization all uh, will take uh, or sorry the reagent scan it will take like only one to two minutes until that period we will keep the uh, controls and samples also before running controls or sample if they are, they are in fridge then at least keep them 15 minutes at room temperature to settle down the temperature after that we'll keep in the machine with uh, every test there are uh, with every reagent there are like two controls we will run but for hiv there are three controls it's your choice that you can run control first and then samples or you can run both together like that barcode position we will keep front side because machine will read the barcode and then it's easy and uh, to program sequence wise any sequence wise you can keep the uh, controls like first HIV then HBSAG or HCV or whatever the test you are doing on the machine on that machine according to that you can keep the controls normally daily one time uh, at the start of the shift uh, we have to run at least one time must we have to run the controls to check the quality of our reagent and our machine
now you can see these are the sample serum clear separated serums now we will keep we have to open the covers and this again barcode area we will keep in the front now you see all keeping barcodes area is front side and at the last we keep that stop tube so that machine will detect that uh, it's the last sample now you can see the screen already machine detected all reagents and when you will click on any position of the reagent it will show all the details like when calibration done it's valid or not if calibration is not valid that time machine will show uh, the yellow circle like it's the warning and if red color come it means calibration failed need to repeat again and now we will open again and we will keep the rack and the this position and the rack hole button this we will keep in same then rack will go inside like that once we will keep the rack close this cover and then now we will go to the screen for the sample scan this is the sample tracking and then we will click the sample scan here current disk is zero it means like it's the first disk but if you have more number of samples and once the sample stop will come then you can change the position of the disk and you can run again now as you can see machine is reading barcodes for each sample once the uh, sample scan will complete after that we will program for the sa patient samples but for control no need to program automatically machine will program Now you see all barcodes programmed but as there is no schedule test so to make the schedule we will go to the workplace and then we will go to the option first we have to go to data review to choose the file, file number just we will scroll down and here we will see this is our first sample now we will go to the workplace option and we will choose which test we have to run if for example we have to run like one or two specific tests then we will choose one test otherwise we will make one profile like for some patients we will run all hbs hgs cv hiv then instead of selecting each one by one just uh, we will click uh, select the visa folder that time there is like no chance of error that one test choose or two tests it we are sure that we choose all three tests so we can make like profile what test running according to that can make profile and choose that profile for each sample but if by mistake you make a, like a wrong program then just go to the previous option and unselect and save it is just time rechecking that uh, after that we will go sample tracking and we will see again now you can i will show you one minute here show result and here you see now schedule came that we have to run these tests after that we will click the start and then again click start so first machine will go initialization in initialization it will just scan everything and check everything and after that samples aspiration will start 
once sample aspiration uh, will complete it will the circle will be in green color i will show you and once it's aspirating now you can see it means green means aspirated and one green with blue ring here it means this sample is under process of aspiration and once the test will complete it will show white color circles first we will see the qc we will go to the qc and individual option and then we will go to the chart and here one by one here you can see there is a gap because new reagent lot number started this is hcv again and then this is hiv now for patient results there are two options either again in data review we can check the results one by one here you can see it on the right side results are displaying otherwise same in sample tracking option we can choose again and we will click show result for that it's i think more easy to note down the result if machine is already connected with lis then no need because automatically machine will transfer the result to the system but if need to note down by manually that time can note down by any option data review option or uh, sample tracking from there you can find once the test will complete and everything will complete we will go to the shutdown but before shutdown i will show you one other options like on right side before i not show you as stop means if you have to stop the sample and alarm is very important if machine will show any alarm just go to the description and remedy option and just find out the solution how to solve and print option is there start option is there print screen options are there and these are the on the right side options so now we have to log off at the end of shift so we will go to the shutdown and we will click ok and we will click ok again and once we will shut down the machine we will take out the reagents also and now first we will off the front button start time we on first uh, power button but off time we will reverse first we will off this operation button and then we will off the machine from main power button from here now machine is off so now we will take out our reagents and we will keep back into the fridge at room temperature and then after that we will close our uh, other pro cell clean cell button uh, sorry bottles to avoid the contamination until the machine will on again now you see just recheck your machine before uh, after shutdown that everything is proper and then close the cover to avoid any dirt or contamination thank you so much